Paul, and welcome to Mr. Paul's Tutorials. This is Diablo Accelerations. Hello there. Now, accelerations are ways of putting speed on a Diablo. We're going to cover a couple. This is the first one called whipping. We're going to use the right hand and pull left and right with the stick. The Diablo will follow where your hand moves. Now, to make this work, your left hand has to be completely relaxed and just let the right one lead the whole move. You can see how I'm putting the power on on the left and right side. If I turn to the side, you can see my right arm is crossing under and then passing over my left arm. This is important to keep the Diablo from tilting forwards and backwards and will keep you balanced. Spin back to the front here. When you've got the hang of the shape and where to tell the Diablo where to go, then you put the power on. That's where you get a load of speed, as you can see here. The next kind of acceleration is using wraps. This is a left hand wrap. We can now, after the wrap's on, either do some accelerations with the Diablo here, or with the right hand wrap, do the same thing. Literally putting a wrap on and just doing some moves here will give your Diablo speed. So we're going to swing into the wrap this time. This is a slightly different method of getting in, kind of looks a little bit cooler. I'm going to turn to the side to show you how this works. We're going to swing the Diablo and it's going to pass in front of the left stick and land back in the centre, putting you into a wrap. Don't have your hands up as high as I am here, this is just so I can show you to camera. I'm going to show you one more time, swinging into the wrap. Swinging into wraps is a nice way of getting in and it looks a little better than actually turning over the centre with your hand. So we're going to swing into a left hand wrap here and fade to black. Now, now we're in the wrap, this is how to do Chinese acceleration. This is the quickest method of getting speed on. With your right hand, flick up and push the Diablo down. We're aiming for one, then two and three and eventually you're going to build up to being able to do continuous Chinese acceleration like this. The thing that makes this work above all else is your left hand has to be completely passive. It has to just be gently holding onto the stick. If you watch my left hand here, you can see I'm just gently gripping it. If you apply too much pressure on the left hand like I'm about to do here, the Diablo will do this. It will travel towards the left hand and can smack you in the head and it will go out of control. So you have to keep your left hand completely soft. We can also do Chinese acceleration on the side or up and down like this. Okay, so uh, we're learning how to throw in a circle for circular acceleration. We're using the right hand to push and pull out, which gives you a circular throw. Practice this first, and then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to put a wrap on, so swing into the wrap, and then with the right hand push and pull in a circle, which gives you circular acceleration. It's very similar to Chinese acceleration, but it moves in a different way. This is what you're building up towards, so the right hand pushes in and the left hand takes out. Eventually you can make it go in really cool circles like this. And stalls, same thing, but when we go up we're going to follow with both hands in the air. Now here's a little way of putting all the accelerations together. So cups, throw, start, circular acceleration, and we're going to do a couple of stalls just here. Chinese acceleration vertically, Chinese acceleration horizontally whipping front and back behind you, do a little cross, another stall, bit of Chinese acceleration and finish. I hope this tutorial has been useful, please hit me up on YouTube, subscribe, like, all the regular stuff. If you've got any suggestions or requests for tutorials, please hit me up, www.kineticworkshops.com. As you thank you for watching, cheerio!